Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to discuss a common issue that iPhone users might encounter, getting stuck on emergency SOS mode. It can be quite frustrating but don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll show you some easy troubleshooting steps to fix this problem and get your iPhone back to normal. Let's jump right in. The first tip is to force restart your phone manually. To force restart an iPhone without a home button, press and release the volume up button. Press and release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until the iPhone reboots. After restarting, to make sure your iPhone won't get stuck on emergency SOS again, you can go to check your cellular network if it is normal or not, and also check your Wi-Fi connections. If the networks have no issues, you can go to check the iPhone software update, sometimes updating can help you solve a lot of bugs. But if your network shows abnormal, you will need to reset your all connections. Go to transfer or reset iPhone, tap on reset, reset all settings, enter your screen passcode, and confirm that your iPhone will reboot. Most of the time, this method works, and your iPhone should get back to normal. But if not, please jump into the next tip too. The second tip is to enter and exit recovery mode without using buttons. Connect your iPhone to the computer. Launch any fix. On the interface, Click enter to put your iPhone into recovery mode instantly. After the iPhone gets into the recovery mode screen, to exit recovery mode, click the exit button on the right. With this method, you can easily get rid of the frozen emergency call screen or any other kind of frozen screen. However, if the above methods don't solve the issue, you can try the third tip. The third tip is to use any fix iOS system repair to fix the problems from the roots. First, connect your iPhone to your computer. Go to system repair and click on the repair now button. Here are many iPhone issues categories, you can find iPhone stuck on emergency SOS issue in the screen stuck category. Click on start now and choose standard repair, because this mode won't lose data. Then you need to download or import firmware before the repair. Here you can preview your device info, and then click the download button, it may take a while to download the firmware package. So please be patient. After downloading, click on the start system repair button. Any fix will start to repair your iPhone and help your iPhone get out of emergency SOS mode. Please wait. Now, the repair is completed, please set up your iPhone. That's all for today's video, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more tips, and leave your comment if you have any questions.